Well, we, we just have one more guest here on the show. Uh, and I got to look up his information. Uh, we spoke to him once before, or at least I did. Uh, I can't recall if either of you uh, have met him. I didn't, uh, I, I didn't obviously, know you uh, do not know him, but uh, he is a um, salesman. He sells hay. Uh, please welcome Calvin Redding. Hello, how's it going? <laughs> Don't be so excited. There's not much to be excited about these days. Your nose is so clogged up. <laughs> the, the pressure in my nose is going directly from each nostril all the way to the back of my head. I can barely see straight because of these allergies, but I'm glad to be here. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> Have you tried Claritine? <laughs> I've tried them all. Every spray and pill you can think of. I, you know, I've gone to the generics recently just because, you know, I'm saving money on these things that don't work. So I want to talk, maybe I'll do my plug section up top. You have something to plug? Yeah, I got a hay business I want to plug. We spoke to you before in Chicago, was it? That's right. And what were your details again? I'm sorry. Did yeah, you what say, are your details? You, you said you have a hay business? <laughs> that's, that, that's exactly right. May I just say, yeah. if you haven't got a hay business, then God bless you. <laughs> I sell hay. <sighs> well, this is how it's been going in Australia for me. <laughs> trying to sell hay to these people is like trying to sell, mm, I don't know, a carpet to someone who does not need one. <laughs> People don't need hay here in Australia, Claudia? No, we White. don't need hay at all. We've got um, sand and grass, and that's all we want. <laughs> you this don't was want my, any. This was like my misfortunate well, step. But not hay. Do you well. have, like, like bones? Bones? Bones, like where a cow lives? Oh, but, uh, where Burns? Are, like, are you burned? Bones? <laughs> Like a bone, like a foam? Bones. Foam? A foam burn? Bone. Do you have a foam with chickens? A phone with chickens. Foam, like a foam with a foam works. Well, I don't know, even oh. know how they'd work the buttons on that thing to call. <laughs> no, a foam, like a wet oh, bone. A, a foam with chicken? Oh. Yeah, where well, you need hay. Yeah. You, you do, have so that? You have one? Because I've got a whole suitcase <laughs> with stuff i got to show you. We have a farm with chickens, but we feed the chicken grain. Uh, chickens do too. All right. Corn-fed chickens. This was a grain. mistake. I should I, not I be in this country. I think they eat chicken feed. So you, you, you sell hay. That's right. I'm trying to break this down. You sell break hay. I sell hay. You're allergic to it, it seems. That's right. I carry two suitcases with me all the time. That doesn't seem like enough hay to sell. Like, if people wanted some hay... Yeah. Although, at the same time, he's never sold any, so it's almost more than he can sell. <laughs> I've never sold any down here in Australia. I do okay. Remember, I do okay in the U.S. So you sell just enough hay to get by. To get by. I have a question for this hay monger. Yeah. <laughs> In your, in your suit in case, is it, is it merely the hay samples or is this the finished product? No, I've got folders with schematics and pie charts of where the hay is coming from, how we're getting it to you, how much is it going to cost you? That's a big question a lot of people have when I'm talking about selling them. Hey, what's this going to cost me, they always say. I say, well, all right, well, let me find it here in the folder. I have numbers for you to look at. How much hay do you need? Then that's my question. They come back to me with a specific amount of bale, a number of bales. Usually in the hundreds that I look at. It's a graph sort of thing. I'll find that number. It's, you know, hundred, you know, 300. Oh, found it. Then I'm, then I'm going right on the schematic to find the price. Soon after I find it, I deliver that news vocally to the person. And in this country, I'm hearing a lot of, I actually don't need any. Thanks for wasting my time and your own, idiot. 
So did you go out today and try to sell hay? Yeah, here was my whole thing. I, I, was, I came down here and I said, all right, this is a country. <laughs> I made that distinction in my mind. And I said, all right, I'm going to sell these people, you know, hay for Halloween, for hay rides. This, oh, I'm going to make no, a fortune no, no, here. No, 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 we don't. Yeah, they don't have Halloween here. That's what I find out every single place I go. What's that a hay ride? <sighs> It hurts, you know, it, it doesn't not hurt when people ask me that. It this is your hurt. livelihood. This if is people don't I, know what hay rides it's are. It's my livelihood, but it's not what I care about most. But it is my livelihood. What do you care about most? Uh, well, I do like the Harry Potter movies. <laughs> um, I almost I, feel like we I'm should talk the, about them. Huh? Huh? <laughs> My this, ears are all clogged up. Who's your this, favorite character? Oh, sorry. No, I'm just... There's nothing in your life that you care about more than the Harry Potter films. That was just one on the list. Oh, I, I do beg your pardon. I'm sorry. If, if you the said sorting, it so immediately, I thought this is the most important thing in this It's the highest life. on the list, but it's not the only thing on the list. <laughs> so it is the thing you care about the most. I guess when you put it like that, yeah, it is. Well, do you, do, do, do you have a family? I do. I have a brother-in-law. <laughs> so do you have, like, a sibling who's married to him? Well, uh, not to bring the room down, but I used to. <laughs> I said not to bring the room down. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, she, uh, well, my sister, you know, she got, uh... Uh, let's just say, um... What? I'm not going to say by what, but she got run over. I, I feel like if you were to say what she got run over by... Then, the, you know, these people, are, uh, we don't want to hear that. We're leaving. Well, you, 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 we're, so, you said the worst part. I, I don't think you need to conceal the identity No, because of the these vehicle. people might drive cars, and they might say, well, I don't want to be the person to run over someone in my car. It was a car, you know, that she got really run over. She was, we were at a NASCAR event. Oh, a really fast right. car. It, no, it, no. This, was this a race car that drove over her? It was a NASCAR event at, at the local mall. They were, you know, Tom Petty was there to do autographs. Tom Petty? Sorry, Richard Petty. Was Tom Petty there, though? He was there in line two behind me. Was that and exciting? He, what? Was that an exciting feeling? Not for me. If it was for my sister, she loves him. Loved. I should say loved. She, I got to get used to that. It was, it, was it recently? Huh? Did she pass recently? It was. When was this? This was right before I left for this trip. <laughs> I said, can we just please do the funeral like today? I'm leaving <laughs> so, very soon. That's so insensitive. I know, but we get it. We did it. We got it done. <laughs> It was the fastest funeral you've ever seen. It was quick, really? Huh? How fast was it? <laughs> that, Did you that say that some... like some sort of setup. Did you say a secret word? How fast How was fast it? How fast was what it? Ah, uh, lightning does not strike twice. <laughs> well. Hey, Monga, may I ask you... Um, yes. On the flight to... Are you saying Hainong Magu? <laughs> what? Hainong Mer. I'm saying Haymonga. Oh, my mistake. <laughs> it's a strange thing. On the flight uh, to this country, uh, presumably from America... Yeah, America. Illinois. Uh, what did you watch on the plane? I was trying to watch some of the old AmFab episodes. <laughs> it was from 2006, this one was from. I said, I'll give it a shot. I turned it on, and there's a laugh track on it that I didn't appreciate. So... <laughs> I turned to the person next to me and said, Is the, can I borrow your headphones just for one second? Because they were watching the same thing. But they were watching it, you know, about 15 seconds ahead of me. So I'd see kind of what's happening, and I <laughs> did not appreciate that. I borrowed her, the person next to me, uh, I, who I later learned his name was Reba. 
was wearing corduroy shorts on a plane, which I've never seen before. I said, for such a long flight, maybe you get cold. And she said, you know, I tend to run hot. And I said, okay, explain the sweater. She's wearing an Eddie Bauer sweater. And she said, I, my legs run hot. I can't explain it. My husband, you know, thinks it's the funniest thing in the world. Uh, was Ray. he on the plane? Ray was, he was not on the plane. Why not? I don't know. I don't really know them. <laughs> so I borrowed her headphones. And Where do you of, think he was? Well, I have a suspicion that he may have had his own business trip that he had to go on. Because she, she said something to the effect of, oh, he's meeting with clients, you know, and he oh, couldn't so you, make you it. you know where he was. No, because she didn't say he, he flew somewhere. He's meeting with clients that I'm thinking at home? <laughs> hmm. What does he do? I didn't want to ask. Have you ever had a business meeting at your home? Right now I'm staying at an Airbnb. <laughs> oh, here in, uh, in Australia, you mean? No, just overall in your whole life. Have you ever had a business meeting in no, your I home? No, I usually do it either at uh, my office or someone else's home <laughs> or farm. I did one at a restaurant. I went to... Uh, uh, I don't know if this reference is going <laughs> to connect with anyone here. Uh, Applebee. No. No. No? no. Apple, Apple, Apple B? Apple B's. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> I had a client who I was supposed to meet out in, uh, they were at you know, Rural Route 34. This won't connect with anyone here. <laughs> And I said, fine, I, you know, I can't make it out uh, that, that this early, you know, or th this late in the day. So uh, is there any restaurant near you that we could be? They said, Applebee's. I said, ah, I actually, I haven't eaten dinner yet. We met there. I had a, uh, <laughs> it was a salmon. It was, uh, you know, like a glazed salmon type thing. I don't know if any of this is going to translate to you salmon. people. It's sort of, yeah, like a, uh, I want to say a maple glazed salmon? <laughs> Crusted? I don't know. The French fries were great. I forget exactly what he had. His name was... If you were in Illinois, would this really connect with people? You know, I don't know if they'd find the story interesting, but they know rural, the, the route I was talking about. <laughs> and they might have an interesting story to then tell me about it. Oh, yeah. But How is it you've been out here ten minutes? And you... And I still haven't gotten to... Haven't said a single interesting thing. <laughs> That, that seems impossible as a human being. I don't know if that's true. Does everyone feel that way up here? Yeah, I, I let's take a poll. Uh, Tracy? Uh, you're boring as fuck. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I never oh, swear. Dude. I never swear. I'm really Claudia, sorry. Claudia, what are you... I think you have potential to be a really interesting guy, but at right. so far you haven't been interesting. Yeah, right, right, right. Okay. Lord Andrew? Well, I, I quite liked the part where it was revealed that Tom Petty was in line to see Richard Petty. <laughs> Seems like oh, we could have built on that and followed up on that. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. That was so quickly abandoned. And then you were going to tell us how your sister died, but now we're hearing about some maple salmon. Yeah, we skipped around a little bit. Well, well how did your sister die at the NASCAR? I want to hear more about Absolutely Fabulous. <laughs> I also thought you were going to watch Harry Potter films on the plane. I, I'm sorry, I'm skipping around. I'm a little tired. I was involved in a... Um, there was a bank robbery the other day. I was actually involved in... Wait, 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 wait. So, between, from the robbery, which was on, a, on Friday. Friday afternoon. You did the wait, robbery? what do you mean? Yeah. I was involved in a robbery, if you can believe it. Were I you went, held up or you were wobbled? I was, well, here's what, I was in the bank, of course, you know, that was eventually robbed. So I'm... By you? I was involved. <laughs> I'm waiting in line, you know, because at this point, I, yeah, I've got a pocket full of this, uh, these 50 cent tokens that they have here. And I said, I gotta boil this down to, to paper money. I'll do it here at the bank. And so I walk in, and there's a line, of course. I'm talking to uh, Faye, I, a woman named Faye, I come to find out. <laughs> who, 
who had an L.L. Bean coat like mine, and I said, I have the same thing back in... Please the just get to the interesting part. Please. Please. All right, let me, let me skip ahead uh, to the, so I get to the teller. Finally. Finally. To the teller. And I'm pulling out the coin one, two, three, up to... Boy, there must have been 20. And About $10 worth? That's what, well, we never got that far because all of a sudden it's doors kicked in, put your hands up, and it's guys in... Who you know, did that? Me. You did that? No, no, behind me. I hear this behind me. Guys in masks. And these are, these are your friends, your co-workers that you're riding I had no with? idea who they were, and I also I couldn't see who they were because of the masks. All wearing canvas vests, except one had a bubble Patagonia vest. I took note of that. You're really into, like, outdoorsy fashion. Anyone wearing, like, Timberlands or...? Uh, well, no, I, could, I didn't know because he's, they said, put your hands up, and I did, and my eyes went up with my hands. <laughs> As I think is pretty natural. Because every you look up to make sure you're not going to jam your hand into a low fan. It's but, true. No, but don't you? It's true. It's very difficult not to raise one's hands without casting your eyes skyward. Yeah, because right. But don't you, you feel have like to really a, concentrate. You exactly. would want to look forward because you might get hurt by these robbers. Like, you don't want to take your eyes off of them. You do for a second. You, do, you want it just for a second. You... <laughs> I were guess I've never been robbed. I don't know. Were you scared when you were robbed? I'm terrified. You know, I'm, I'm shaking like a, a, you know, a leaf. <laughs> and they start, you know, rounded everyone. They, they round us up into sort of a ball right in the middle of the room. A circle. A ball. <laughs> and then somebody, you know, uh, would be... Hero I'm hits gonna, the... I'm sorry. I, they I'm, very so, I'm very sorry. Yeah? I'd like you to go into detail <laughs> about this ball. <laughs> was it like a haystack of people? No, not, not exactly. It was a ball of people. Well, it wasn't was it bound. I think if it was bound, I would have agreed with you that it was more of a bale. Oh. But it was not bound because they didn't have rope. So how'd they get you in a ball? Just kind of pushed aside. So it was like a. It was. It, what happened was they said you, to this to Faye, get over there, right there. And she, they pushed her. And then they started pushing other people. You, you know when you see a. Uh, you do, you know when you see a, the, the you could YouTube video of like a Bon Jovi concert opening up in the '80s. Like they no! they open the gates. <laughs> To a Bon Jovi concert, no, the first people none to of rush us, in. There is not a single person in here who has ever seen a YouTube video of an opening of a John Bon Jovi concert. Well, it looks like, you know, the first stages of what would then become a mosh pit, the grudge. Oh. But it's people rushed and pushed onto each other. This so, is sort of what so happened. What did, they, what did they do? They fell on top of you. Everyone, we're all no, falling No, the robbers. Oh. They, they got some money. They went to the back and took two sacks of money each. It's all I could hold. Because I guess, I guess somebody, well, they didn't have their backpacks with them. Come, I'll tell you about that as the story progresses. It still has to progress? It, it's, it still needs to start. It's still it in the nascent started. stages? Oh, well, yeah. So I'm, I'm coming off the top of the pile like, I got to get off these people. I start to fall, trip backwards a little bit because my shoe uh, was untied. I'm tripping. And then these guys are rushing out of the hole, the, out of the door, you know, to get in. Well, what I, would, I used to get into the bank, we're now going out of it. We know how doors work. Right. And we're all in agreement, doors. It's, yeah, probably everyone, most of you probably got used the door to get in here tonight. <laughs> Pushed back. I got sort of swept up with these guys. Next thing I know, I'm outside on the sidewalk with them, and it's yelling time for these guys. <laughs> go, 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 get, you know, get into the car. I don't think they realize. I said, I'm not with you guys. I'm not... But it was, I'm in there, and I'm in the front what? seat. 
driver's side behind the wheel. Keys tossed into my lap. Uh, sort of. I just am amazed that you talked about your allergies for so long. <laughs> I could barely breathe. They're killing me. Where did you... Did you end up driving them somewhere? Yeah, but I don't know where I was going, you know, because I don't know the streets here. They all crisscross and go every which way. Were you able to drive on me? What? This happened here. This was on Friday at Sydney. Are yeah. we able to drive on the left side of the road? Not very well. <laughs> And also, my head is so clogged up, my sense of direction is out the window. So we're going down this street and then back up this street. And they said, where are you going? I don't know, guys. You know I'm not with you. They finally realized none of us. I didn't know any of them. And, if, and I, I did steal a moment, though, to say, how come this guy's wearing a bubble vest? And that's what I knew. Jake, his a- a name ended up being Jake. Jake is not a close friend with these guys. And he didn't do the right bubble, he didn't do the right vest, and he did not bring the backpacks. What's a bubble vest? Uh, uh, it's a vest, usually nylon with uh, down. Like in the puffy ins- vest. That's right, a puffy vest. I've never called it they kept saying bubble called vest. a bubble <laughs> vest before. I've never they said that. bubble vest, you know, kept saying bubble vest. I said, all right, this is an Australian thing. I'll go with it. It's not... Well, then, talk to these guys. I don't know what to tell you. And then what happened? So there I am, I, and I'm speeding. I'm going, because I don't know. I do things miles per hour where I'm from. This is all in kilometers. I see we're in a, you know, I don't know, 60 kilometers. Does that make sense to anyone? It's 60. <laughs> but I'm going way faster than that. And at this point, I start chit-chatting. What are you guys going to spend the money on? Uh, So you feel kind of relaxed. I feel like I'm in the group now. And they they said, that was so much like uh, the the movie Heat. You ever seen Heat? Yeah. The guy in the back, high-five me. Because Heat was such a great movie. They all said, and I turned around. I said, guys, uh, you'll never believe this. I've never seen Heat. I said, did you see, uh, you know, the prisoner of Azkaban? (laughs) They had not seen that. (laughs) They didn't, they hadn't seen it. They hadn't seen it. None of them, one of them thought they saw the beginning of Sorcerer's Stone. I said, that, great, good, fine. You probably saw an owl. Uh, I'm talking about the prisoner of Azkaban. (laughs) And they said, well, we're talking about heat. And I said, all right, where's the next turn? Wait. Like, the bank robbers who are saying this is just like the heat. There's like a million movies about robbing banks that they... I but they like... seem to like heat. <laughs> the heat. Heat? The heat? The heat is a different film. Heat is what uh, they yeah. were talking about, I think. Oh, the, right. Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro, like, Al Pacino. About a was... bank robbery. Oh. Right. Right. Yeah. Michael Mann directed. Michael Mandarin? Michael Mann directed. directed. Oh, I see. Sorry, my nose I is see. so stuffed. All right, look. So, uh, <laughs> people in the crowd are standing. People in the crowd. Hey, I, you know, I, if they can leave, I don't care. <laughs> no, I care. I care. I don't want them to leave. I want, I want you to go out on a big finish. Okay. I want to hear about the end of this story. Okay. And then at which point... We want you to get everyone on their feet. Yeah. Well, <laughs> they'll give you a tippy-toe ovation. Okay. Okay, good. It's very rare. <laughs> Finally, we get to what they are calling their hideout, which is a garage. And I say, and they get out and still high fiving. These guys must have, you know, calloused hands or something, because the amount of high fiving they're doing is unbelievable. I did, I could do about three to four of high fives, and I was done. <laughs> then. They said, okay, thanks for driving. Here's, you know, they gave me a $100 bill. I said, guys, that, that's, I feel bad about that. All I wanted was the, the, the ch- I actually gave them, I ended up giving them the coins and they gave me the, the money. I, I left the place, got back to my Airbnb, 
And so this is not suddenly right. Those guys are nice guys, but I got to do something. I called the cops, uh, said, hey, you know, there was a, a, a robbery. I was involved in it. <laughs> they said, were you the mastermind? I said, no, but I, you know, it was the driver. Unbeknownst to me, I said, it was not my fault. And they said, well, we're, do you have any info? And I said, no, nah, not really. I mean, they were wearing, one guy had a bubble vest on. <laughs> uh, and look for a charcoal-colored uh, sort of a Dodge Ram. May have been a Dodge Ram. You were at their hideout, <laughs> and you made your way back home from it. You could have told them about the location of the hideout. Yeah, well... Like I'm saying, the, 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 the streets are so twisty and turny here. You could have here. left a trail of hay. <laughs> that would have been good. I don't have the hay with me. I, I sell it, you know, uh, out of the, the suitcase. It's mostly schematic. <laughs> what I do is I set up an appointment for hay to be sent to you. Okay. So I wouldn't have been able to do that. I'm sorry. It's okay. Thanks. How does that work? Like, how do you send it... I'm not interested in the hay. <laughs> that, that's the end of your story? The police said, okay, thanks, and hung up? Yeah, well, yeah, and then on the news, you know, later that night, they got him. <laughs> they got him. They found the truck. Because of what you what said. What was the truck? The charcoal-colored truck. I think it was a Dodge Ram. Ex extended cab. But it was because you told them what it was. Yeah, I guess so. That's like a big deal. Like, you helped them stop. Sure, I'm not looking for any awards or medals or anything. All I wanted to do was sell some hay down here in Australia. <laughs> This is the biggest regret of my life. <laughs> you gotta jazz this story up somehow. Oh, Faye was wearing pink Uggs. <laughs> I mean, that's not a bad detail. <laughs> You've ruined Australia for me. <laughs> I certainly did not mean to do that. What? That took a half an hour. <laughs> Felt longer. <laughs> <laughs>